Jesus Christ, bend me over and call me Freddy. I'm just kidding. Call me King Charles. Look at this painting. This looks like something out of Dishonored, you know, when you go into like the really rich people and like they have them evil paintings of like the outside and you can grab them and sell them somehow in your back pocket. That's what this shit reminds me of, dog. Now, I'm an Englishman, proud Englishman, but fuck the royal family. I couldn't give a shit about them. I don't even know what's going on anymore with them boys. I'll tell you what, I do know what's going on though. The world is crazy, bro. His brother's a pedophile. He's fucking everyone's a pedophile. His best friends with Jimmy Savile. Do you know that? Jimmy Savile was the world's, you know, most renowned. Well, English most renowned paedophile. Watch the documentary, bro. It's horrifying. Watch this dickhead. Watch this old fucking whammer. It scared him. Even he's scared. Oh, look at that. Someone's had their period on a painting and, you know, photoshopped King Charles's face onto it. You know, I even feel dodgy calling him Ch King Charles because, like... Oh, yes. Look at that. There I am. In all my glory. Holding a sword that I don't even know how to use. It's funny how they pretend like they're military people, don't they? It's like, yes, I shall hold the sword and call myself a soldier. But I've never actually swung the sword. Yeah, I bet you fucking haven't, you big bomber. If this guy recovers from cancer, then you absolutely know there's a cure and that they're hiding it just so more people die because they don't want population to reach too high. I promise you that shit is true. <gasps> I'm not a conspiracy nut, bro. I might have a tinfoil hat under my bed, but I don't wear it every night. Only sometimes in the mornings when, you know, the stars are aligned and like Aries is out and shit like that you know what i mean it makes sense yeah I, I, I can't believe this is like real and he was like yeah this is this is fantastic what a, what a great piece of artwork you guys have done thank you fuck me imagine i have to say that it's like that david beckham monument that they make and it's like a prank but the devil made it so i saw this online and before i posted it i wanted to check if it was right so i cropped in half the one of the pictures of king charles and i mirrored it and then I cropped it again. So I have two of the same picture. Now I am taking it in on the right hand side. No way this shit is real. You know what I mean? No way they made a painting and they just put the dare, like the devil in there. Just be like, yeah, see, let's see where they go. People are going to lose their minds. They're going to love it. It's like, oh shit, they think we're fucking Satan lovers now. What the fuck? In order to make one of them smaller. Now, as you can see, I've opened up my Instagram stories because I find it really easy to edit things together. Um, it's a little bit awkward. This is the picture the correct way up. Now um, I'm going to turn it upside down. Um, I find Instagram really easy to mess around and spin pictures around. Now I'm going to... Who needs Photoshop, ladies, when you can use Instagram? Use Instagram filters and look like a dog. Get the other version that I took the right-hand side off and match them up together. Take a look at that. I mean, you've not really matched them up together, have you? The top one's a lot bigger than that one, and you've just sort of morphed it into looking like it's, you know, two arms are turning into horns. You know what I mean? You could do that with literally fucking anyone, bro. You literally take a picture of me, right? I put my arms exactly like that. Give it a 360 no scope. Give it a 180 no scope, sorry. Turn that shit upside down. Control C, Control V. Flip that bitch. Stick it together with a bit of PVA glue. And what have you got? You've got two arms that look like fucking horns. That's why I had bad vibes about this picture. Oh, she, she has bad vibes. Never fear the woman who we don't know who has bad vibes i have bad vibes every fucking day bro i wake up and all i get is bad vibes i breathe oxygen bad vibes i look at someone bad vibes i look at myself in the mirror bad vibes i get bad vibes just from eating a piece of chicken bro just because you stuck two pieces of paintings together and said it looks like the devil of hell's fucking kitchen does not mean it's bad vibes i have to admit though that does look like something out of doom doesn't it it looks very creepy and very scary it's just a very confusing thing that they would do considering like you know the current political climate where his brother's a pedophile let's not forget that his brother is a paedophile. Uh, what else is there? I've already mentioned Jimmy Savile, his best mates with. You know, Jimmy Savile had the highest clearance in the UK. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? As soon as I saw it in the red, and it just seemed a little... It does look quite spooky, doesn't it? Demonic to me, but there you go. Cheers, Bessie. Oh, mate, that does look a bit creepy, doesn't it? I have to admit, it's not the greatest uh, colour palette. I have to admit, it's not the greatest um, image of King or Prince Char King Charles, whatever he's called. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the devil. I love the devil. I worship the devil, actually. In fact, I love the devil so much, I pray to him every day. Smiling demon. <laughs> This is like a mum trying to make a TikTok famous, you know what I mean? Like, she's fucking done know what she's smoking, mate. The devil, I have to admit, is a cool little image, but what do you think he does? Do you think he sacrifices little children to the devil? Maybe he does. Maybe he does. I don't know, I just don't... I, I think people are just clutching at straws. Don't get me wrong, I think the royal family's evil, and Joe Biden's probably an evil paedophile, and I don't know. 
uh, P. Diddy, everyone went to his island and he has loads of, you know what I mean? How many P. Diddy's in Epstein's are there, bro? Who fucking knows? I think, you know, I don't think the uh, the Queen and the Royal, sorry, not the Queen, she's long gone. I'm not sure that the Royal family would make it so obvious that they, you know, sacrifice little kids to the devil by painting a picture, making it red and having some conspiracy nut who's probably smoking a crack pipe in his spare time while our kids are playing with scissors. You know, uh, I, I don't think they're going to make it so that someone who can just go on Instagram and flip it works out. There we go. She's found it. There's the answer. You know. <laughs> there you go. We've been exposed by uh, Sally, the Instagram mother with 342 followers and uh, likes posting pictures of her dog and little kids eating ice cream. That's just not going to happen, lads. All right. It's not going to happen. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I've, wait. It lists to my royal impression. Send I pulled it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. What the? That's a hideous fellow. Who is that? Why is it red? That's not me. I'm King Charles. Where's me crown? Bloody hell, someone's had their... Someone's eaten bloody strawberries on top of my painting. Who's done this? God, imagine if someone does a 180 and flips it round. It looks like the devil. Whatever will we do? Fucking pedo. No, I'm joking. He's not pedo, I don't think. Or is he? Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I'm just rambling. I'm a bit of a conspiracy nut. I've, I've actually lost the plot. I've actually lost the plot. I'm going crazy. I'm going fucking nuts. Do you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. I'm Nuts. But yeah, do you think this is dodgy shit or am I just fucking, I don't know, smells smell stinky to me, boy. Smells stinky to me. And there's Camilla clapping, clapping her cheeks. <laughs> just shut up.